Hi, so this is Richard. These are very strange times. As most people will know, we're locked down with COVID-19. And so it's been a bit of a difficult time. Uh, for me especially, it's been quite rough because I was training for a strongman competition and with all the gyms closing, um, I can't even buy any weights. So I've been trying to train some bits and pieces in the garden. But yeah, for this past two weeks, it's been seriously hard. Um, I'm getting really ratty and uh, short-tempered um, so yeah I really hope this lockdown doesn't go much longer because I need my gym <laughs> but anyway so yeah I hope everyone's okay so as people will know this channel is mainly for myself to record my progress my journey into different things so be the film photography filming new cameras new lenses you name it this is basically for me to record where I'm at what I'm doing what I bought um, yeah and my learning progress really so to that aim people that have seen this channel before will know that I'm filming on this which is the uh, Canon G7X Mark II and it's been a pretty okay camera um, the autofocus is not great at times and especially if you're out and about the wind noise is shocking so I bought one of these kind of dead cat things and also um, because I've dropped it a few times the screen's a bit dodgy and so is the autofocus so I'm kind of I'm in the stage where I'm using it until it dies but I do need to look at replacing it <clears throat> so as you'll know this is my home studio but with having access to the photography studio it's become apparent that my lack of knowledge and <laughs> experience in audio is really hampering me. I did a uh, artist insight with Lucy and to be honest I am going to film it again. The audio was so echoey, it was shocking. Um, Lucy didn't like the way the mannerisms were anyway, so that wasn't a major issue. So, um, what or who inspires you? Um, <clears throat> well, there are a few people on Instagram that I'm following that are also either nude photographers or self-nude photographers. Um, the second artist insight, which was with L, um, actually worked out a lot better because Lee, who I rent the studio with, he actually knows a lot more about audio. And we set up three or four microphones. And while it wasn't perfect, because there was still some echo in the room, it was tolerable. So to that end, this is going to be my first journey into sound. <laughs> and that means I have not got the foggiest clue. I'm basically from Domas level at the moment and I'll be at a bit higher Domas level um, hopefully within the next few weeks as I learn. So um, apart from having a bit of a cheap microphone that my cousin gave me, I have bought my first microphone. So, and before I spend hundreds of pounds on things that I have no idea and get things wrong, I've decided to go a bit more budget friendly um, and buy something that is, I don't know whether it's going to be good or bad, this is basically my first unboxing and impressions on this uh, microphone. So what we have here is the uh, newer, it's the NW81 and as it says it's the super unidirectional condenser microphone so uh, yeah again this is not a full-on review of this product this is basically just for me to have a look at and see what i think see what i like start my journey into audio and hopefully this might help me with my interviews because that is one of the main reasons for buying this thing so what do you get so obviously in the box you get this 
nice little I can't even call it leather it's like a fake leather kind of box where the microphone actually comes in so you get this kind of sponge and you get a few leads this is obviously the microphone so I'll spin this around you can see it a bit better um, and yeah it comes in this car this case so it means you can actually um, store it away and it's not going to get scratched damaged and mistreated really so um, <laughs> I have a thing about newer at the moment um, purely because their price, their quality, um, yeah, they're basically the two things that you know are affecting my purchases at the moment while I'm building my kit and my experience. So with this, the newer, um, you get obviously the condenser microphone itself. As you can see, it is actually a um, is this an XLR? So you get an XLR which you have two um, cables so you have one which is an XLR going into the DSLR so you're using the preamp on the DSLR um, and then you get a second one which is an XLR to I don't know which this is but I presume it is to go into um, a bit of an audio recorder you also get two um, mounts so you get this one which is a thicker um, I guess studio boom mic stand mount and then you get this one which sits on the camera which you can angle in different directions and again you can slide it um, back and forth I guess depending <laughs> if you need a bit of reach or <laughs> balance on the camera so what I've done is I've been to the studio recorded myself uh, and then I've been into the garden and recorded myself the ones in the studio were recorded probably about three to four weeks ago and then the ones in the garden were recorded yesterday. I went out into the garden yesterday at about four o'clock, um, well half past four something like that, uh, purely because it's uh, what we call rush hour so um, even with Covid-19 there is still quite a lot of cars around which is really bonkers because we are on a lockdown and we're being told to uh, socially distance and stay at home. So all these people that are out and about, I don't know why they're out and about. I hope the journey is kind of essential. But anyway, so yeah, um, the microphone is an all metal uh, chassis with this kind of sponge foam thing, I guess, for the wind. And as you can, it is actually a metal construction. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be buying like a boom arm so I can actually use this because I have actually got an idea to start a podcast, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. And if people like want to listen to my um, waffling voice, but anyway, so again, not knowing anything about microphones, um, I've asked a few people um, a bit of advice and <laughs> this is why I've got a new haircut because it's just cut my hair. I've got, it's just gone over my head when they're talking about preamps and all the different things. So I thought, what's the best way to learn? And that is to try things yourself. See what works, see what doesn't work. And that's why this is a bit of a failure. So the audio that I shot at the studio, um, <laughs> I didn't know and I wish people would tell you but you have to turn down the preamps on the Canon cameras because otherwise you get um, high end and hisses and things uh, I don't know what the actual technical term is but uh, yeah I definitely got that it was making some funny pops and crackles um, so again it's a learning curve so even though it's a failure it's not a failure because I've actually learned something which is what this journey is all about. Okay so this is testing with the Canon 5D Mark IV and the newer microphone. It's placed on top of the camera without the wind jammer and we are probably three to four feet away from the window. So we'll see what the audio is like and hopefully it won't be too bad but the next one I'll do is with this and then we'll try it with the boom so again this is testing with the Canon 5D Mark IV this is the newer microphone and it's got the wind jammer on I am probably three feet away from the camera 
So I will show you a bit of behind the scenes. So this is what it's like. And this is how far I am away from the window with my light placed just a little bit from arm's length. <laughs> so this is testing the newer microphone. It's directly above me, which you should be able to see on this behind the scenes camera. So this is one and a half hands, <laughs> whatever that is, away from my mouth. So hopefully the audio should be a lot better. So this is a test with the Rode Video Micro. This is actually on top of the camera, boom, on whatever it's called style. <laughs> Just to test the difference between the newer microphone and this one. So this is with the Rode Video Micro placed similar sort of position away than this was. And this is the audio with this. So on the microphone itself, we basically only have three there's a switch here which has got three settings on it. Um, you basically got off, normal and um, telly. So I don't know what that is, but guessing from the diagram on the top, <coughs> excuse me, um, guessing from the diagram on the top, normal is the normal surround and then telly, I'm guessing kind of amps it a little bit to reach a bit further. I don't know. I didn't actually um, think about and look at that feature when I was in the studio, so I did actually do it in the garden. Um, I've got one where the traffic was coming past and it's on normal and then one where it's on telly. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I turn the preamp down um, and yeah, hopefully it will work. So one test I neglected to do was to actually come outside and test it outside. So I've come out into my garden. Um, we have a bit of a main road, which is about 25 30 feet away um, at the moment while we're in this lockdown with COVID-19 the road isn't that busy but it's still busy it's uh, a rush hour so um, yeah there is actually people about um, I just thought I'd come out and test what the microphone's like it's actually sat on top of the camera at the moment we've got a car coming past can you still hear me and at the moment we haven't got a um, dead cat we've only got the normal foam jammer so we'll see how this goes but uh, yeah I just thought I'd come out and do a quick test and see what it was like outside um, hopefully you can hear me and hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad so I'm not sure if I expect anything different but this is set to normal we've got ambient traffic behind me and just to see if you can pick up my voice One, two, three. So, yeah, as I say, this is not a full in-depth review on this. This is um, just my first initial impressions and unboxing. But as a package for £19, which I don't know what that is in dollars, $27 or something, this thing is actually quite good. Um, I wasn't expecting the metal construction. I wasn't expecting something this large. Um, and I wasn't definitely expecting to have leads. Um, the only thing that I would say is, well, there's two things that um, straight off the bat, not knowing anything, but having seen other people's stuff. One is, I don't know if you can see it, I'll zoom in. The connection into the camera doesn't actually go all the way in. So you're not 100% sure that you've actually fitted it in and that it's going to record properly. Um, well, saying that there's another one. The other one for me is the switch on the top, I have to remember to turn it on, otherwise I'm going to stand there like an idiot talking to myself and not have to record any audio. Um, and then the other one is these mounts. So while it's great that we've actually got these kind of mounts, it would be great if there was some kind of shock mount because there might be a time when I've got it on the Ronin S and I want to kind of use the, uh, the boom and get a bit of ambient audio. Um, again, I don't know whether it's better to use an external recorder or obviously it's better, but I mean for some of the stuff that I do, um, I don't know at the moment whether it's going to be beneficial to go down that route. It might be a case that this thing is too big for 
um, external stuff like going to the shows, the car shows and things. So again, it's one of these things that I'm going to have to see as I go. So for now, um, I'll let you listen to some of the audio clips and yeah, for £19, um, even if it's pants, it's going to be better than the internal microphone on this camera um, and it'll hopefully cut down on some of the echo and get clearer voices for when I do my artist insight. If this actually does turn out to be quite a good microphone for the price, then I will invest in a second one because when I do the interviews, it would be nice to have one on the talent and one on myself. Um, and then, as I say, going forward on the car stuff, um, I'll see how it goes. I might actually invest in something like the Rode Micro, um, but at the moment, I know absolutely zero about sound, so this is a bit of a learning curve. Um, but yeah, as I say, see how it goes, see what we get, and uh, yeah, hopefully, once I've used it a few times, um, I might actually go out in the garden and record some sounds for file you know for like the bird noise and water running and things like that um, so I have a collection of sounds I can use it for that um, I have actually looked into uh, a secondary kind of audio recorder uh, which is something that I might actually invest in um, again that one is about 140 pounds so I'm not sure what that is in dollars 180 something like that, 190 um, so yeah that might be my next purchase but I don't know so we're going to test this microphone out a bit more and uh, see how we get on with it but first um, yeah first kind of initial thoughts and feelings is it's actually really good um, I do like the metal construction and as I say this thing is a bonus but it doesn't come with a dead cat so that might be something that I need to invest in but with me doing it inside in the studio it might not be an issue um, we'll see how we get on. I'm going to actually do some videos in the studio when we actually get um, released from lockdown, from prison, <laughs> um, where I've got a few ideas on helping the acoustics. So, uh, yeah, bear with me on that one. <laughs> um, and again, this is kind of a learning curve, so I have zero idea. So if you have any help, suggestions, um, and again, budget friendly I'm not going to be investing three four hundred pounds maybe more on full audio equipment when I haven't got a first clue I'm going to start with stuff that is like this which is again budget friendly but is in a really good package and see what the quality is like and then we'll go from there um, yeah as I say I've been looking at the road mics and some of them are like close to 300 pounds which for £18 on this is like a massive investment so um, <clears throat> we'll see how we get on but anyway thanks for watching um, as I say if you have any kind of um, knowledge or anything you want me to think about or should be thinking about then please let me know in the comments below but otherwise stay safe and I hope uh, this lockdown doesn't go on too long let's hope that all these nuggets driving about um, either get sorted out or something put in prison or whatever let's you know let's get this thing over and done with so we can all get back to some kind of normality because um, i know i need it but anyway thanks for watching and hope to see you soon um yeah take care